with newly signed Worcester Sharks for Jimmy Bono. And uh, Jimmy, first off, welcome to Worcester, and talk about your first few days here in Worcester at training camp. Thank you. It's been it's been great. I mean, I, I love everything about Worcester so far. Real classy organization. Uh, light on the ice, like with the young guys, with the older guys that are here right now. Everybody's been great. Coaching staff been great to me. Uh, you know, was a little stiff yesterday after the drive and everything, but today felt great on the ice. Now looking forward to getting those games this weekend. You mentioned a lot of young players at camp this year. Do you see yourself taking on more of a, I guess, a veteran role on the ice, even if it's just the first few days of training camp? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think uh, we had a, a, a very young team in Hamilton last year, too. So I know what it is. I was one of the oldest guy, even though I was only 25. Uh, this year's a little bit of the same thing, and I think it's important when you got lots of good but young guys, they're going to show up. Things will go great at first, and you, it's usually normal. You hit a comfort zone and you, you stall a little bit, and that's when veteran guys are important for that comfort zone to be stable for a really short period of time. So then you start you know, performing again and everything. And uh, I'm definitely looking to share like my experience with the guys, talk to them off the ice, on the ice, on the bench, uh, make sure the little details that are, you know, parts of the game, maybe not skill-wise, because it's not maybe my strongest point, but like all that stuff, uh, bring it uh, as much as I can. Well, talk about your strongest point. Uh, quite a few penalty minutes in your career. Talk about your style of play if Sharks fans aren't familiar with you yet. Uh, I'm an enforcer, definitely. Like, I uh, can't hide that. Uh, I look I look for fights. I, I, I defend my teammates, and I like to do a lot of it. Uh, I think it keeps you more, gives you more time on the ice when you're, you know, people know you're active, you're really ready to go any night. Uh, but I've worked in my hockey a lot through to the last year, and uh, I'm not a huge point guy, but uh, I think I can, I'm at this time where, uh, you know, aiming for something like 10 points wouldn't be over the top, um, you know, going straight to the nets, taking good habits, uh, and uh, definitely want to improve on my keep improving my hockey. I think I've done it considerably through the last uh, four years, five years that I've been in the A, but uh, I really want to keep doing that because it's important now. That's, that's part of the game. And you're looking forward to starting your career here in Worcester? Yeah, definitely. I've been going around a lot uh, in the last few years. Uh, you know, there's been lots of teams that mentality changes uh, towards enforcer. Uh, some teams I wanted to maybe get a fresh start somewhere else where I feel that I'd get more opportunities to play more, get more ice. I maybe even look for a call up. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's always, always, always has to be a goal of yours. And um, that's why now uh, I think San Jose has proven to give good shots to their past enforcers. They give them a lot of ice time. I remember when I played in Portland, Fraser McLaren, Brad Stobbitz were getting good ice time, good minutes. And... Uh, you know, if I do what I'm supposed to do and I do it well, I think uh, it's going to be a good place for me. I wouldn't mind staying here for a few years. Jimmy, thanks for your time. Best of your luck. And I'm sure Sharks fans will look forward to rooting you on at the DCU Center of the season. Sounds great. Thank you very much.